in the lightweight division, the best division in the UFC at UFC 309. Most competitive division, for sure. You got Mauricio Ruffy taking on James Yantop. Ruffy 10-1, and one, Yantop 14-4. and four. Brazil versus Peru. Oh my goodness. Ruffy's one inch shorter at 5'11". He's 28. Yantop 25. So both guys still getting better, especially over the next three to five years. Ruffy, two inch reach advantage. He stands right handed. So does Yantop. Both guys right around five significant strikes per minute. Although Yantop, based on the numbers, will land like five to seven more on average uh, throughout the fight. But it's very, very close. Takedown game, none for either fighter so far. Now, Ruffy, in his first two fights, both wins at the Contender Series, won by KO, beat Jamie Malarkey by first round KO, just inside the bell, 442 into the fight. So, you know, so far, so good. Yantop has given up some takedowns and lost to uh, Vyacheslav Borshev by split decision, lost to uh, Chris Padilla by submission, beat Malik Lewis at the Contender Series. So, a little bit of trouble for Yantop so far. Mauricio Ruffy has looked good, right? Both these guys need more experience to make a legitimate uh, prediction here. But based off what we're seeing so far, we got to lean towards Mauricio Ruffy. Plus, he's Brazilian, and I'm leaning that way anyway. As far as the numbers, it's going to be close, though. Yantop has given up takedown, so we'll see if Ruffy takes that angle. But even on the feet, I think Ruffy will outpace Yantop, even though the numbers look the other way. Right now, Jan Top in, in losses is still averaging more activity, significant strikes uh, on the feet than Ruffy. But Ruffy is 10 and 1 for a reason in a very tough division. I expect him to win this thing by decision, either on the feet or on the ground, wherever he wants to take it to move to 11 and 1, lightweight division, UFC 309.